All right, guys, welcome back to some more Factorio. I think I've pretty much upgraded all of the line, um, all the assembly machines here. I'm also gonna try and keep it to more 40 minute episodes, even though I spent most of the episode showing you what I had, I had done and also just simply only upgrading this this belt line. Um, that's sometimes how it will go. So um, we've now uh, upgraded all the machines, and uh, as as I kind of expected, um, already as it is, this is not enough, um, this is not enough chips. I mean, it's going as fast as it can, um, but you know what the problem is now? These yellow <laughs> inserters are not fast enough. I wonder if I can tell them to be faster, like, by uh, an upgrade, but yeah. So we, we, we're not really that far ahead right now. Uh, we can do some tank. oh, we can get tanks now. You guys want to? I, I mean, I was gonna show you tanks at some point. I mean, these are some of the more worthless upgrades that we're never gonna use. So um, there's that, uh, and then there's the stuff that requires a great deal of resources that we don't care about. But yeah, I will. I will be showing you some of this stuff. Uh, grenade damage doesn't really net, net us anything. Explosives would be good. Uh, if you, you, I think you guys like the boom boom, so we'll go into that. So apparently. Apparently I fucked up again, and so now that now that these crafting machines are much faster, um, kind of needs to be faster than that. So let's see let's see if I can actually um, if I can make it repair. Uh, sorry, if I can make it upgrade lines like this. What's the problem here? Oh, it's just not getting enough iron to the end. Is it a full line of iron? Yeah, it just eats it all at the beginning. So iron needs to be maybe red belted now. Or, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, this this stuff really exposes any sort of problems you have in your uh, base design like this. So that's that's always great. Luckily, as I said, I'm, I'm redirecting it back. Let's see, it's actually just all flowing in. It, it is kind of flowing in. I see a bit of stops here, particularly with this line here. But that, that will actually be a really easy fix if I actually do what I want to here. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Um, I guess we'll just red belt it all, then. Alright, so not blue belt, but red belt it. Fuck. Okay, so I didn't take any underground belts with us. So we're just right now identifying problematic areas because I'm trying to I'm trying to get a handle on what would be the most ideal. Uh, yeah, so this is mostly good, I guess. I'm trying to get a handle on like what's the best belts and stuff like that, the ratios and whatever goodness that we need. Um, yeah, so everything's everything's now. Uh, uh, by the way, it did, it did not increase my power consumption by much. I think like maybe 12 megawatts at most. Like I know, speak relatively speaking, compared to where we were, twelve megalo uh, megawatts is a lot, but well, <laughs> twelve megawatts, yes. Um, but it's not that much now, um, so we don't care. So we're gonna now upgrade this all to red belts. So I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out where the problems lie in our production capabilities. So. Um, So maybe, maybe let's see, let's see if it does upgrade all this. I fucking hope it does, cause like having to place these all manually, it's either that or I just like tear them all up or something. So let's see. Uh oh, I'm not quite done here yet. Yeah, I, I know, I know, science finished. Okay, we got the boom boom now. So if I had pl played with Clefson, I would now be able to get Clef explosives. Um, but I didn't play with Clefson, so. Uh, obviously there is atomic bombs here. Uh, there's some explosive rocketry. And actually some of the rocketry upgrades are required for the rocket silo. Uh, you need a couple of the rocket shooting speed upgrades, actually. So, I mean, we could just kind of work our way to that. We, we're going to have to do it eventually, so I might as well. It's something that doesn't require a lot of green chips. So. It's a definitely a good thing to go after. Um, Alright, so... The very first thing is that I, I don't like how this works, but well, I guess we'll see. Because I have that little... That little line there. But we'll see how this works out. Remove that. Okay, so what happens if I place one and then there's already... 
Alright, so I have determined something. You cannot actually upgrade things uh, like that. You actually have to place them. Whoops, we lost. Alright. So let's go find out where the fucking problems are now. I mean, not all of it needs to be blue belts, actually. I don't even know. It just needs to be red belts. Sorry, it doesn't need to all be uh, red belts. It just needs to be red belts at the beginning. To bring more of it in. Not insert iron plate. Why is it trying to insert iron plates on me? Get rid of all this crap. Would have thought that we need really fast inserters. Holy shit, we're already done. Alright, let's let's downgrade some of these at the end here. Um, I did not realize that I would just eat through all this. Like I said, I, I, I don't actually need it to be that fast over here. It just needs to be fast at the beginning. What the fuck? Alright, you two are unsynced for some reason. Probably my fault. Alright. Maybe that's a good place to... Because the, the thing is, these require like 40 gears each, so... Maybe we'll do something like this. Alright. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Fuck. So, I, I took like a stack of 50 of them, and then... It's also going in the wrong direction. That is also going in the wrong direction. That is also going in the wrong direction. Fuck. And this is also going in the wrong direction. Why have we lost? on this day. Alright, so that's that's a little bit better. Um, we do need to bring in uh, slightly more uh, of the good stuff here. This is why we have the blue belts to begin with, but yeah. Alright, and then we now use these guys. We now have the good kind of splitters. We need to just make sure they're all on the proper belts that they need to be on. And then we just need to identify problem areas. Now it would appear as if it's still slow here. I'm not sure why. I guess I just can't find an excuse to use all of it because I have this line going. Maybe I need a third line. Weirdly enough, I think I need a third line coming in. Huh. So, I, I originally made this, like, into its own line, I guess. Alright, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do something like this. Oops. Uh, no, no. Chillax. Fuck. Oh, that was just meant to be a, a line like that. There you go. Maybe that's a good way of doing this? This way we kind of ensure that there's two belts coming up. And it does make it to the end, right? So... Alright, there you go. Now it has practically a full line to itself. Does it... How long... How, how far down does it make it, is the question. I mean, it makes it pretty far down. Basically to the end, actually. Now, we do have to upgrade all these uh, yellow inserters to... Actually, there is one thing that we could do to upgrade it. And uh, you guys are not going to like it, actually. It just it just occurred to me now. So, I have, a, I have a mechanism here to upgrade all this. But it's saying, like, oh, you don't have any... Oh. Also, the belts also kind of matter. Fuck it, we're just going to do it the manual way. I, I was thinking of just... You remember the thing I just did to remove all the yellow poles? Uh, so all the all the bad pulls. I could do that also to remove all the yellow inserters and then place them again. But this has actually not been 100% mirrored, anyways, because sometimes I did some weird things in certain places, and uh, it's not coming to bite me in the ass because I can't actually do that exact thing. What the fuck? 
Okay, so apparently at the end of this line there was uh, something that wasn't supposed to be there. Like, over here, look at this. It's like, not even mirrored properly. Don't ask me, I don't know how this fucking worked out. Uh, it's only my factory and everything is my fault, so... Anyways. So we're just gonna do this ourselves. If we did this in a smart way, we wouldn't have to do this, but now we have to suffer. Alright. Holy shit, look at all these yellow inserters I have. Alright, I think we're done with this. Alright, so let's see where the problem areas are now. So, iron is not an issue. Iron makes it in just fine. Copper, it does not make it in, it make it in just fine, though. Uh, but it doesn't matter, because now this, this line is completely full of uh, green chips, so... Uh, we're going to have to do something a little bit special. We're going to have to blue belt it over here. But now there's a fully saturated line coming down the center. I'm not sure if we even really need to... I, I don't even know if this is a problem, to be honest. I don't, I don't know if I need to do anything. Uh, it does mean, though, that right up to the end here, it d doesn't actually get any copper anymore, so... Um, there you go. And to be perfectly fair, I don't think I want it to have any more. Alright, rocketry finished. Is there really no, like, interesting upgrades we can get? I guess not, really. Uh, we don't really want rocket damage, we just want, like, uh, rocket speed. Okay, so we're not really gonna use rockets here. Because you can see it kind of, like, a little bit odd how this goes. Yeah, but it just simply doesn't make it to the end anymore. Um, on the other hand, we can see how fast the, uh, the science is going. Let's, let's actually let's actually go have a look at that because that's always been it's always been a highly problematic uh, science for us. But uh, yeah, so the nice thing is now this copper is uh, on, doing much better on its own, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, all right, where are you at? All right, how are you doing? It, it may actually be just going like too fast sometimes. Oh my God, I, I just I feel like I need to have another. Stack inserter for some of this stuff, actually. So that's what we're gonna do. Just to make sure it is always getting what it needs to. Actually, wait. Uh, there you go. There you go. Now, now there's absolutely no fucking gaps with this thing. It's gonna be making. Now remember, because we upgraded all the machines, and we were working based on the ratios, we were like, oh, we're going to try and make one per second, but even though the crafting speed is 0.75, well, it works out now, because it's like, uh, it's, there's no fucking problems with the crafting speed. So, um, as you can see here, uh, this is going pretty well with the science. Um, I think the only other thing we can do is we can maybe red belts on this shit over. So, we'll do something maybe like this. Because we, we, we now have, like, different kinds of problem areas that we can easily just now fix. Because now, like, every time we do make military science, it's like, oh, there's too much being made. And now, like... The other thing is, like, because of the fact that we require an exponential more amount of resources, you know, we, we just need to have more and more shit coming in, but, I mean, this works out. We just kind of do this. There you go. And when it makes it over here, as long as this is a full line, I literally don't care. Uh, in fact, maybe it should be a blue belt, uh, ironically. <laughs> We, dude, this is, dude the, the, the fucking nightmare never ends with this game. Oops. Because look how many, look how many, it doesn't even make it all the way to the end here, because it's like, I'm just eating it all. It's, it's a hungry mistress, oh dude, it became more of a hungry mistress because of the crafting speed upgrade. That's literally how this went down. Just trying to make sure this is all good. And now I feel like this needs to be faster too, but not that much faster, don't worry about it. Uh, this is still going to be good though. 
Holy fucking shit, though. Alright. Do this. Uh, let's get... These going. See, as long as it makes it to the blue science, and then the blue science is fast, I literally could not care less. Alright, that's as fast as I can fucking make it. So if there's any kind of stop gaps in this, this is, yeah, because it's, I, like I said, this has always been the issue with blue science, is like, how do you make these stupid electric mining drills fast enough? But now, look at that, like, that was like a ton coming off the line, but it's like eating through our, like, our reserve, like, no tomorrow. But, because I don't think, like, a lot of these see any action. Yeah, that, that guy doesn't see any action. I mean, there's still a chest filling up with, uh, miners. Do I have any with me? I do not. Which is good. It's a good thing. I don't, I don't really want to carry that with me. So, the problem areas here right now are just primarily in the military science area. Um, I think I did, did... I did make the ratios right, correct? Every 10 seconds... Yeah, there's five of these. It's because the these machines aren't making fast enough. It's possible I need to make more of these guys, though. So, wait. This needs... A gun turret. I don't know. It's probably it's it is probably not perfect, but this is the 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 choke point now. Alright, we're done with that. I'm done with that. It's time to kick ass and have fun. And we're all out of fun. Uh so we're now working on this guy. Um So plastic bars are apparently not coming offline fast enough now to meet our redshift demand because for once in our lives, um we have actually a lot of uh, uh, production here, so you can see that these are now complaining about that. So, plastic bars will have to go onto red belt. But like I said, we're just trying to fix our our uh, production issues now, because now we actually have we have both resources and we have uh, some really cool assembly machines. So, you know, we need something somewhere. So this is what we're going to do now, actually this can just kind of go right in here. Because I used to have that for some other reason. Alright. So how do we fix our plastic production? Well, we just make more of it, because we've just decided we've cons we're consuming more of it for some reason. Um, just uh, just uh, right off the bat, so... Uh, well, I mean, this is a pretty easy thing to just copy and paste, actually. Alright, we're gonna need more, uh... More of these things. Where are they at? I'll just, like, I'll just literally double it. I don't I don't care. Oh, uh, there we go. Chemical plants. This guy wasn't really plugged in here. Uh, yeah, this is gonna have to plug in here as well. There we go. Easiest game of my life. Basically, oh, almost a Red Bull full of this shit. Probably can have one more, actually. Just one more at the, at the back there. One more line of uh, plastic. But you can see it actually makes it to the end. But we, do, we still want a little bit more, because we're going to be using it for components very soon, so. Uh, and here here I thought I was being an optimist, and I, I'm like, oh, I'm going to make fucking super science real soon. No. No, we don't. We, we, we're perpetually stuck in the world of production science, I'm sorry. It's just how Factorial works. You can never leave production science. All right. Couple more here, just in case I want to have another line at some point. I mean, it's backed up now, so we don't really have to worry. But this is why, by the way, I scaled up my um, my oil production because petroleum's about to start getting used a lot more. So you know, it's whatever. We're gonna have to make a couple more of these machines. Nothing wrong, nothing wrong with that, but you know, it's whatever. Just uh, requires a never thing. What can I say? Um, all right, so let us do the thing I set out to maybe do. Um, I mean, we can we can actually just make a couple more of these things, though.
Maybe like two more. Because we're going to need it. And apparently we're also going to need a lot of uh, these uh, bl these uh, yellow inserters. But I'm, I'm making them by hand because I have so many of them in my inventory right now because I've been cleaning some stuff up. But yeah, I probably should offload it into something. Alright. Uh, copper is... How fast is the copper line coming over here? Oh, I have a red belt full of it, so... Yeah, this is, uh, this needs to be kind of fixed, actually. So let's, uh, let's actually spend a bit of time on that as well. Because I made this a little while ago. And I, I'm... I mean, it, it served my purpose pretty well for what it was supposed to do. Fortunately, this does mean now a bunch of shit needs to be upgraded here. Oh my god. It's one of those situations again where... Okay, we need underground belts again. Right, let's just uh, trade out some of our shit then. For that. And then now we're going to work in components. So, um, and, and I know your guys are like, fuck, it's taking two episodes. This is like fucking, like, takes so long to make components. Yeah, it, it kind of does. But this is the, the thing I kind of left for you guys. Uh, for a little bit later, because I'm like, oh... Because I, I, I recognize how long that this stuff takes. We have done it before, and it's 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 uh, it's it's just through the roof. All right. Uh, let's go. Just uh, put this thing down. We don't need too many ye more yellow belts. We have another stack right there, but that's fine. We have mostly fast inserters at this point in the game. I'll still make some long arm inserters. We don't need this stack though. Well, it's not stacked, bro. Well, really. All right. Uh, we're just gonna make sure we have max of that. I don't think we need- we really don't need anything else at this, at this point in the game, but it's- it's nice that we found most of this, so. Uh, we don't need any of this. So I'm just making sure we're getting rid of our, all our extras. Wait, I just gave it 50? Fuck. Who just does that? I just- I just want 50 of everything. Okay, is that hard to ask game? Alright, uh, let's just make sure we have enough of... Let's get a couple more red belts so we don't have to come back down here. And we're, ge we're keeping a couple blue belts with us too. Just, you know, just in case. Alright, that's, that's okay. Alright. Drive back down. I know, I, dude, I know these, these belts look like, like they're just fucking multicolored, but like... Remember, the blue are the fastest, and then they get slower and slower as you progress through. So, here we go. Um, this is our line here. And is it still making red chips? Okay. It's not making red chips anymore, but we'll still give it a bit of an upgrade here. Alright, that's that's good enough. When it gets to the end, it's fine. Alright. So. Uh, our next line. I truly do not know how to necessarily handle this, but we'll see. Alright, so. Uh, first things first, we need to have, okay, so I'll show you what this requires, and then we'll, we'll, we'll have another look. So, it needs 20 electronic circuits, this takes 10 seconds to make, 20 electronic circuits, um, 2 advanced circuits, and 10, and 10 sulfuric acids, so, pretty simple stuff, so we can actually just make it right up here, uh, nothing wrong with necessarily up here. Just need to be able to bring it back to the main line, but we just need to bring we we need to bring a ton of green chips, a little bit of red chips, and then and yeah, so and then um and then sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is right here, which is why this is the best place for it. I don't think we're gonna extend this much further, so so we're gonna kind of make this down here. I think we want this to be repeatable too. So the first thing that's important is that um is that. Uh, we're gonna have a line here. So this is for components. So it requires, unfortunately, sulfuric acid, but uh, the first important thing is that we're gonna have a line of sulfuric acid right here, and it's gonna just take it onto the belt. Like such. Uh, this is where the green chips are gonna go on that, on that line, and then on the middle line, it's gonna be red chips. So let's uh, get that over here. So we're gonna have to do a UE with you. Uh, 
don't know how many of the, this shit we're gonna need, but yeah. So what we're gonna do is it. By the way, they take ten seconds to make. It's a pretty ridiculous number. Uh, but the important thing is that it loads it and unloads it as necessary. Um, so we're gonna do something like this. All right. So that's sulfuric acid for it. Uh, oops, not that much. Once again, it's it's also not going to be exactly a fast belt for unloading it either, because we don't need that much. It's it's really quite sad how much this actually wants, but yeah. All right, On the other side. The only thing we red belt is the chips. Uh. I may have overdone this. Whoopsies. Alright, and then it offloads here. Uh, same deal. We just copy that over. Alright, so we have some long arm inserters that we need. So you will unload onto that side and you will load onto that side. Alright, that's how this will work. And then we need a nice, uh, probably just one blue inserter to grab what it needs to, but I'm not too sure. I don't plan that far ahead, as you can probably tell. But this is this is generally what this needs to be. Uh, and how we're going to get all the resources onto here is a very good question. So, I mean, this is how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, if we kind of go based upon the, the other system we have, um, so 10 processing units. So this is about 12, so we're going to have one processing unit per second, but this needs a whole lot more processing units than that. Um, so we're not done yet. Um, just keep going. This is kind of how much it needs. And also, I didn't make uh, power poles at all for this uh, system. Whoopsies. Oh, fuck me. Actually, I did. I just didn't make it on that side. Actually, does it work on that side? Oh yeah, it totally does. Uh, if I put it like over here... Oh no, it doesn't work like that. Oh well, whatever, rip. Okay, we're gonna have to make all the pulls manually then. It's definitely not the fault of the Middle East or Canada. Maybe it is the fault of the Middle East. I don't know. All right, apparently we need some more uh, good assembly machines, but we'll, we'll get that a little bit later. Um, so, I mean, the, 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 the play here, the play here is to actually make another line of copper going into another line of assembly machines. And you think I'm fucking kidding, but this is 20 electronic circuits per thing. It actually requires its own dedicated line for this stuff. It's like, I'm not, not a fucking joke. So the best play would actually be to, to make another line right here. So it means I need to divert iron from somewhere. I don't know where. I, I honestly don't know where to come, where it will come from. Maybe like one of the maybe the steel line or something. Um, so with that being said, let's just uh, bring this more up this way. And then, maybe, yeah, maybe at the end of the steel, we'll just take it from there for now, and then we'll improve it later when the factory is actually going. Really. There you go. I just, want, I just want it. I just want to eat all these resources first. That's a very loud plane. That sounds like it's coming from my house. What the fuck? So yeah, it's not eating this stuff 100% the best, but that's okay. So I think the thing we're gonna basically do is we're not gonna aim for necessarily. Uh, 100% saturation here. Like, the, the amount of green chips you see here is actually perfectly fine. Um, what we really need is we just need, like, another... Uh, let me go make sure this is going. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't need to be 100%, but we just we do need a fair bit, so... This is why we just make a shit... We're going to need some machines then if we're making more of that stuff. Alright, let's take all the copper with it, it's fine. Alright. Alright, all good, all good. 
Like, there is just so fucking much of this shit, dude. Oh my god. I, I Did I red belt all this? I, I actually can't tell. No, I didn't red belt the, the green chip line, but it's not the problem here. It's because we're doing a bunch of... I mean, what is the problem here? Is it military science still? I mean, we don't need military science for actually that much shit. Yeah, it is military science. It's completely the fault of this fucking garbage. It actually might be the fact it's not getting materials fast enough uh, because of uh, how we've done this now. So let's go maybe fix that up uh, right now. Hey, hey, give me all your shit. All right, so that's another two stacks of assembly machines. Uh, it just occurred to me it's probably actually not making things fast enough, maybe. Yeah, do you see the gears? Yeah, there you go, that's the problem. All right, how do we fix this? Do we have a, a substation here? Can we make a substation? No, we need copper plates. There you go, now everything's powered. That was the problem. I mean, it, it's just a matter of, it wasn't getting enough iron gear wheels because it's, uh, it's having to long arm insert them from the other side of the belt. Uh, and there's really nothing I can do about that. I, well, I mean, I could I could organize it slightly better, but I mean, I, I, I like my little temporary solution better. So now it's going 100%. All right. So that was, that was there was actually a little bit, because the machines got faster, and then the arms didn't get faster. So, you know, it's just like, uh, whatever, we lost the game. All right, so let's go back down. Because uh, we're trying to get components going. Man, you're, you're gonna love how this this shit just eats it up because it's like, I mean, let's let's say, let's say here. So we have like, yeah, whatever. It's just gonna eat it up. Okay, <laughs> take my word for it. Take my word for it. All right, what else do we need? All right, I think we're good now. Feeling pretty good about this. So this one blue belt still needs to kind of come over here. I need to not concern myself too much with it. Um. Or sorry, the the one that's going up here because this one this one is basically going into the factory and into the red chips, um, and then it's going to the the this is the copper is used in various other things and it will be eventually used in uh, high tech science. So we cannot divert that, but we do have this one last one here, uh, which I'm not pleased about, but I guess we're going to have to make that work. Um, because uh, you see that there's like a green chip line, so I was hoping kind of to have the green chips kind of also help out here, which means I'd have to divert it when it's like not too full. This is why having one green chip line is actually like baller as fuck. Because if you have just one, uh, then you don't have to worry about anything. So you know what? We can't do that because we're already filling up that belt. But that's okay. You know what? Let's let's worry about the. Let's just leave that alone. I, I'm I'm trying to work out the technicalities of this, and it's like uh, it's giving me a fucking headache right now. So let's uh, remove this thing for a sec, and because this belt is now annoying me. Holy shit! This goes really far down. This is how I used to bring my copper down here but now we have the blue belt so like we have a lot more of them so we just don't care just let me just take this all so we don't have to worry about that anymore it it's just i i have a really odd ratio right now i think it's mainly the problem all right yeah you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do exactly that we're gonna just take it off with the, the one belt line oh good I just decided this. this is gonna be fucking atrocious, actually. Which means we're gonna have to figure out a place to put. Whoa! Uh, that, my screen was shaking slightly because I was like on some weird place. All right, I think I know how I'm gonna do this now. I, I've been thinking about this this whole time, and I'm just like constantly drawing a blank on how I'm going to accomplish this fucking atrocious layout. But um, the thing is, you have a main bus for a reason. The main bus is there because you want to take things off of one easy place. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna stick by our guns and we're gonna try and keep the green ships all on their own bus. Even though I, I do most of it at the beginning, and the reason the, the most of the the heavy component shit at the beginning for this reason, because it's like uh, I don't want to 
deal with that too much. There's sulfuric acid. I don't know why the chips need to melt anything, but you know. There you go. We have it now. Alright, so it's got everything it needs for that. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to divert the green chips over there. Um, once again, okay, it's going at the faster speed, but that's fine. So the plan is that I'm going to maybe make another green chip place somewhere. Probably over here, maybe. I don't know. I have to think about that. There's something I have to put my thoughts into, which I don't like. I don't like thinking. No, it's fine. Thinking is thinking is good. Um, but we need to have the ability for us to plug in the, the second green chip line into somewhere that diverts also to over there. So fuck me, dude. I It's like... I, I have to think about this, actually. Because if we, if we have a second green ship line, we, we would prefer it all coming into one central area. And as you can see, the central area is a bit of a disaster right now. But I have some fixes for this, actually. This is actually an easy fix, if I do this appropriately. Uh, yeah, this is actually easy to do. You know what? Fuck this thing. So, this entire time I've been kind of like bringing the, um, I just, I just need to free up this fucking area because like I, I've, I've done some, th some things I'm not proud of here. Oh, what am I ever proud of anything I do, but let's, uh, let's, let's go past that. And, uh, ascend into... Super factory saying whatever the fuck. All right, here we go. So we'll do this instead. Let's try and free up some more space here. And, you know, can fucking just do this too. You know, keep things simple. I don't know why I have these weird curves in these belts, but you know, real belts have curves, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, what is this? This is just a slow ass belt. All right, slow ass belt. Kind of come back here. All right, so this is uh, this is slightly better now. Um, and we, we can, on top of that, we can make this into something else, but, like, we can slow this down slightly. What the fuck's this? This is from before, so. This is my lack of cleaning up things, um, which is a kind of an issue, but yeah. So this is gonna be a centralized place where the, where it all comes into, so, um, fucking hell, where's time pass when you're playing Factorial, man? Like I'm, tr I, I, I'm fucking. This episode is gonna be as long as it takes for me to start getting these things out. All right, I'm just not talking about now. All right, so, so we're gonna do something like this. So that that way I can plug in the other side over here. Uh, we can also make this into blue belt, but I think just red belt it will be good enough for this. We'll see. I haven't quite decided this part. Especially since I just made these both into fucking red belts, so that's that's good for me. Guess we'll see, won't we? Now you're gonna notice it's gonna eat the shit out of the. Actually, we can we can make this like like that. All right, there we go. You're gonna notice it's gonna eat the shit out of these these uh, uh, these green chips when they come in, and there's actually not that many coming in right now. Sadly enough, because guess what? There's not a production, but they'll start, and then you'll see what's going to happen. So they don't have enough right now. There we go. The very first blue chips coming off the line, but the amount that's coming in is is basically only going to feed like the first two, uh, which is why we need another line of green chips. But we would prefer it if it worked in such a way where, like, you know. If I could make have one solid blue belt of of green chips, I think a lot of my problems would be solved here. Let's also figure out this little issue here, because we need to make this a little bit faster. Cause yeah. There. That 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 solves some of that. 
So here's a question. Can they all plant down what they have and do they all get copper? These are the two questions I ask myself. Because I, I think the answer to number one, which is like, do they all get copper, is a definite no. I don't, I doubt they all, I doubt they all do. And the really weird thing is how the left side is, yeah, because the left side is dividing more into there, but like, why is there so much copper on this side? It makes no sense. Is it, did I not upgrade some of these inserters? No, they look all pretty much upgraded. Welcome to the complexity that is Factorio and figuring out where the fuck your problems are. But yeah, you know what? We got a couple coming off the line now. But like, these ones need to be... I, I don't think they all need to be working, but most of them need to be working. Um, look at it. They, they don't even make it to this side at all. At all. I, I think it's because I fed I fed some of these machines copper cables or, so, or something. So if I actually remove these, I think then I'll like go like, oh... But you can see how, how long it... See, do you see now why I have fucking so many uh, smelters making this stuff? So it's not a problem with raw resources, because I have that all, that all coming in. Uh, it's it's now purely a problem with... Um, we need more of everything. Uh, but yeah. Well, luckily, as I said, that's why we have this guy here. Yeah, I'm, I have to debate to myself how to fucking fix this. I don't know. Um... Because we need more coming in, but like it does, it does sort of make it to the end sometimes. So this is probably like I don't know the perfect amount. I don't have any, as I said, ratios set up for this stuff. Oh, you know what it is? I just realized what the, one of the issues is here. Um, so, um, so when you look at this, is there's three machines making. Um, there's always three machines making uh, a single green chip, right? The problem that is happening is that there's only two on this side and three on this side, and I am equalizing the two belts. I am indeed equalizing both belts, so eventually when it makes it down here, because it's working at full speed, it actually supports like one, two, three, four, I would say. And so this, fi this fifth one is worthless. Uh, so what I could do is I could potentially like divert this belt back into the other one or something or just maybe remove it so that it gets r backed up. So yeah, one red belt will work four sides of these machines. So it'll make four sides, uh, eight, eight green chips in total. Um, and we only have four belts to work with. So, I mean, we could make one more uh, stop for... Uh, copper and I'm actually going to do that we're going to do that and we're going to add another line that's what we're going to do okay I figured this out I have actually figured this out so I don't think iron is a problem now I think it's now just copper is a problem so we, as, like I said we're still going to have this one blue line going into the factory that's not that's not going to change but we do need one more copper stop and we need one more train to do that so uh, to make our dreams into reality and then we're going to make this a 5 to 5 splitter and then, and then, and then we should win the game. And then we only have four, we only have four of these working at once. That's, I think, how we have to do it. I don't know what I'm going to do to do this one. I think I'm just going to remove one line. Like, I'm going to just reduce it by one, I think, is how we're going to do it. I'm going to remove one. I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove the bottom one here, and I'm going to just push it all up, and then down here will be the remainder. I don't know if I can just bring this iron over and use it on the same thing. That might be too much to ask, especially considering the fact that it actually looks like most of it is used here, so... Which means we also might need another line of co uh, iron, I'm not sure. Because you can see that, like, my priority splittering is, is like, basically at maximum, so... Um, how much iron trains do we have? Alright. Alright, so that's how we're going to do it. One more f line of furnaces for iron, one more line of uh, furnaces for copper, I think is what what's going to do it. And then yeah, and by the way, when those when those <laughs> when these things start running out, it means we have to go out and get more of it. So fuck me, dude. Uh, you know how much time am I at? Okay, I'm at like a lot of time, but yeah, you know what? Let's uh let's do something very important to me right now. All right, whoops. I'm 
gonna do something a little bit here. So we don't need any more than a yellow belt here, a uh, yellow belt here for full of components. It's not really used in anything, but um, yeah. Okay, so I may have fucked this up so somewhere, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I really did fuck this up. All right, so there's one last slot for uh, things here. And here you go. This is where all your blue chips are gonna go, right straight down here. That's where all the blue chips go. This is why you made me see, this is why you saw me make these like uh, four thick essentially. So we're bringing this up here for a good reason. We're gonna make productivity modules now because this is actually one of the bigger bigger things I've actually really wanted to make with uh, this stuff. And it uses all that fucking copper, but yeah, we're gonna just do this real quick because this is a fast uh, thing. So, the way it works is five electronic circuits, five, uh, sorry, five green chips, five red chips for uh, 15 seconds for one productivity module one. Productivity module two requires four uh, uh, productivity modules uh, ones, and then it requires some processing units and advanced circuits, and then the last one requires five productivity modules twos and five advanced circuits, five processing units. Actually, pretty simple stuff. Just needs a lot of processing units. It's the only problem. Um, but to keep this really simple, um, so 15 seconds, so basically you need to make one of these, you need kind of four productivity module uh, module machines, two productivity module twos, and then one productivity module three machine. Um, and this doesn't actually make it perfect. It's not actually a perfect ratio. And it's only because of the fact that this requires five productivity modules twos. It's so such a weird, like, I don't know why they did that. Uh, it ruins the, the feng shui of the ratios, but um, you know what? Uh, it's okay, because we don't care. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make this thing over here. So it's very simple how this all works. This is, and, and this is like a machine we need. Holy shit, I have blueprints up the ass. Yeah, we're gonna figure this out in a bit. I've, I've actually really want to get going on this, so I can just fucking leave it there. Uh, so we do something like this. This makes productivity module twos, and it goes into productivity module mach three machine. So same deal as before. So this is kind of, as I said, this is, uh, I, I know this isn't the perfect ratio. I, I very much know this. Um, and we, we do it simply because I just need something simple. Like, it's that's just how it works. But, like, it's a simple machine, kind of how that works. Um, apparently, though, why is it like this? Oh, because this can be slightly more to the side. Huh. Yeah, it just goes like this, then. There you go. Much better. All right, so... Uh, we can just start getting this going now, actually. And the last one needs a mix of red chips and fucking other chips, so. Yeah, good times, good times. But I, I just wanted to get this going because we really want the, actually the product of Module 3s. They're so good for science uh, a little bit later um, and some other machines, so we don't need a lot of them. Uh, we're not, we're not fucking, we're not, we're not doing it, it to every single thing in the factory. But this is kind of how I usually do it. Something like this. And it goes into a chest that will be, I don't know, like two things full of... Maybe just one. We only need one stack. Listen, it takes about about a, about a minute to make each one of these. And we won't need that much. But like considering that I'm playing the game for like hours, um, I mean, this is fine. And you can see that there's not even that many coming down, but th it is the very first nice thing that we can actually spend on, you know, our components on, you know. And uh, maybe when it comes out, I'll show it to you. Or maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, it's just getting them now. Like, it's ridiculous. You can see, like, the ratio is just kind of, like, barely enough, I think. If I recall, that's how it always worked. I mean, these are going a little bit faster. I mean, then again, they were making stuff before that, so they have a little bit extra left over. And it pretty much just has enough to make the next 
uh, module. Because these were working before that. And it needs an extra one, so it waits a little bit of time. So, you know, it's whatever. So that's it. it this is, I'm just leaving this up here. Uh, we're going to not deal with that. We're going to focus on our issues down at the bottom there with green ships particularly. Um, I, I mean, really, realistically, that's what that's what this is. Like, this, th we're getting into the late game. It's just scaling up copper and, and iron and stuff. And then when you have a shit ton of it coming in, like, as I said, I have trains waiting to drop off their goods, which is what we want. We need that. In fact, there's some stations not even doing anything. I might I may, might even add like another train or two going over here. There's really no reason for me not to. Uh, do I have trains with me? I do. Okay, I'm gonna do that too. Like, add two more trains there too. Fuck it. Might as well. Uh, we need engineers though, so. Alright, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just fix up this line in the way I mentioned earlier. Uh, and uh, we're going to next time do a little bit more of... Uh, of uh, copper goodness, but uh, not that much more. And I'm also adding a couple more trains here and there, because I, I I can guarantee you that it's just all of a sudden it's gonna be like oh shit, we need like a ton of resources. So it's kind of how Death World kind of works. Uh, I mean, depending upon what you think of it, you know, it works either way. So, anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.